Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to your French lesson of the day. Bienvenue dans la leçon du jour and today we will see l'imparfait. So it's a past tense and it's uh, one of the most used in the French language. So let's start and see how it goes. So the idea is that uh, first you will have to master and to know quite well and by heart of course uh, the present form of the verb you want to uh, conjugate and then the second thing is that you you need to know by heart as well the form nous at the present form of this verb okay so let's have a look now how it goes so we've got a regular verb parler parler is to uh, speak or to talk and then as you can see at the present form you do have nous parlons okay nous parlons All right, and the idea is to take away this O and S, so the ending it's in red in this slide. Okay, and if you take that away, then you get parle, P A R L. Okay, okay, so it will be the first part that we will need to use uh, to construct and build uh, the imparfait. Okay, so let's take a look and have a second example like finir. So finir, uh, it's to end or to finish. Okay, so at the present form for nous, we get nous finissons. Okay, so it's a regular verb from the second group of verbs. Nous finissons. All right. So the idea is to take away this O and S. All right. And then you get, as you can see in the yellow box, the final one, finis, F-E-N-E-S-S. All right, so this will be the first part, and then after that we will combine it with the endings that we'll see a bit later. Okay, so let's have a look and take a third example. It's prendre. Prendre is to take. Okay, prendre, and at the present form you get nous prenons. All right, so same approach and same technique. You spot the ending, so the ending here it's o and s as usual for nous. Okay, you take it away and then you get PRUN, so it's P-R-E-N, PRUN, okay. Another example is BOIRE, BOIRE, so I did choose uh, BOIRE because it's uh, highly irregular, especially for NOU. You can see that you get at the present form, NOU BUVONS, okay, same thing, you spot the ending, ONS, you take it away and then you get BUV, B-U-V. All right, and then last but not least, at least I think it is the last one, partir, partir, nous partons, okay, ending ONS, and then you get part, P-A-R-T, all right, so, yes, uh, now we will see the second part, so we saw how to construct and how to get the, the first part, so the second part is the endings, So for je, the ending will be a e s, and you pronounce it like e. Repeat, e. Okay, it's an open one. Okay, don't be afraid to open your mouth. E. All right. Second ending is e as well. So same writing and same pronunciation. E. Repeat, e. Okay. Third ending, it's same pronunciation a e, okay so you instead of the s you you get this t but then it's uh, the same pronunciation because uh, phonetically it doesn't exist okay so it's a e, open repeat a e, okay for new the ending is e o n s and so keep in mind that this uh, first e is pronounced like y y y okay so you get yon yon repeat Yon, okay. Then for vous, you get the same sound at the beginning, so it's y y y, okay. And then remember that a z combined uh, gives you the pronunciation e, okay. So you get this y y, all right. And last but not least, so actually the the important thing is that even if you get this r e e n t, you will pronounce it like for je and then il l so it's a e, okay so you don't pronounce all these letters <laughs> after a e all right so it's a e. repeat 
A. Okay, so if we see actually the easy thing is that for je, tu, il, elle singular and then il, elle plural it's the same pronunciation and it's A. Okay, so we've got only three pronunciations or three sounds. It's E and then yon and then ye. Okay, let's see that in action. Okay, so let's take a regular verb like écouter. Okay, so remember how to proceed. We will take the nous form for the present. Nous écoutons. Okay, if we make the liaison, nous écoutons. Repeat, nous écoutons. Okay, and then we take away this O and S, and after that combine it with the ending for je, and then we get j'écoutais. Repeat, j'écoutais. Okay, second verb is uh, finir. Okay, so if you remember it, it's nous finissons, at the present form for nous, nous finissons. Repeat, nous finissons. Okay, we take away the ONS, the ending, and we combine it with the, the ending for tu, and we get tu finissais. Repeat, tu finissais. Okay, third verb, écrire. Okay, so present form nous, nous écrivons. Repeat, nous écrivons. Okay, we take away the ending and combine it with the ending of il at the imperfect and we get il écrivait repeat il écrivait okay then boire boire at the present form for nous it's nous buvons repeat nous buvons okay same procedure and it will be for elle so the same ending as il elle buvait repeat elle buvait okay then prendre so prendre for new form at the present it's nous prenons repeat nous prenons okay we take away the ending and combine it with the ending for l'imparfait it's nous prenions repeat nous prenions Okay, so it's actually it's quite important if you take one second to spot and to look at the, the these two forms. Uh, so you can see that the only way to uh, make the difference between présent and imparfait is this i, so the y -y -y sound. Okay, so for the present form it's nous prenons, repeat, mm -hmm. and then for the imparfait form it's nous prenions, repeat, nous Prenions. Okay? So let's take dormir now. Dormir is to sleep, and I hope you, you don't sleep during this presentation. Okay, so for nous, we've got this nous dormons at the present form. Nous dormons, repeat. Okay? And then, well, we spot the ending, we take it away, and then we put the ending for vous. It's vous dormiez. Vous dormiez. Repeat. Vous dormiez. Okay? Lire. Lire is to read. We get nous lisons at the present form. Nous lisons. Repeat. Okay? And then for the imparfait, we get il lisait. Repeat. Il lisait. So remember what I said, you know, even if we've got so many letters we don't pronounce them after a i okay lise all right and then mettre mettre is to put nous mettons okay repeat nous mettons elle mettait repeat elle mettait okay for the pronunciation remember that then when you you've got this two t right after the e uh, it does give you the pronunciation for the uh, it's open it's e e okay that's the reason why we've got l mette okay mette repeat l mette okay i hope it was clear for you don't be afraid to watch it again and again have a nice day bye bye